Mo Brooks is a Trump sycophant who's running for the United States Senate in the state of Alabama. And the core message of his campaign is basically, I'm the biggest Trump clone in America. I'm the biggest Trump bootlicker. Vote for me. And that's not really that big of a stretch because he's based his entire identity around loyalty to Donald Trump. So if you went to his Twitter handle prior to today, you'd see endorsed by Trump next to his Twitter handle. That's how proud he was to display the fact that he was endorsed by Donald Trump. He also boasted about being the first GOP member to object to the 2020 election results, saying, I've always stood by President Trump. Now I'm the Trump endorsed U.S. Senate candidate in Alabama. Alabama. He also shared this beautiful image of him and the former president with the caption reading, I'm proud to be endorsed by President Trump for a third time. No, unfortunately for him, he had to change his Twitter handle because Trump rescinded his endorsement today. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is great. I love seeing this. You love to see it. You base your entire identity around being endorsed by Donald Trump. You make that the sticking point for your campaign. And then Trump rescinds the endorsement, but it gets better. Trump is rescinding the endorsement, claiming that Mo Brooks <laughs> went woke. <laughs> Imagine thinking Mo Brooks was woke. I mean, the word woke has no meaning at this point. It's basically a synonym for bad, like gay was in the 2000s or like communism is now by Republicans. But this is this is just a beautiful story. So Politico explains former President Donald Trump on Wednesday rescinded his endorsement of Alabama Senate candidate Representative Mo Brooks, citing comments by the House Republican that the results of the 2020 election cannot be overturned. Trump asserted in a statement that Brooks went woke by arguing it was legally impossible for the former president to be reinstated. Trump also criticized Brooks for hiring a new campaign staff who brilliantly convinced him to stop talking about the 2020 election. I am hereby withdrawing my endorsement of Mo Brooks for the Senate, Trump said, I don't think the great people of Alabama will disagree with me. Election fraud must be captured and stopped or we won't have a country anymore. I will be making a new endorsement in the near future. This story makes me so happy. Now I've got to read from Trump's official statement because that first sentence is just pure gold. It reads, Mo Brooks of Alabama made a horrible mistake recently when he went woke and stated referring to the 2020 presidential election scam. Put that behind you. Put that behind you. I love that he's calling him woke. It honestly makes me so much more happier. Him rescinding the endorsement in and of itself is amazing to see, but calling him woke is the cherry on top of this shit Sunday. You love to see it. Um, now, I love that Trump is doing this, even though Mo Brooks has objectively been his biggest sycophant. This proves that you have to undeniably and perpetually buy into Trump's delusions. And if you waver at all, even simply saying, yeah, the election was still stolen, but maybe we should move on a little bit. Nope, not acceptable. Trump's not going to accept that. You absolutely have to buy into his delusions and claim that this is the most important issue in America. It doesn't matter what's happening in Ukraine with Russia, COVID-19, what's that? Um, poverty in the United States. States, food and housing and security doesn't matter. The biggest issue is that Trump had his feelings hurt because he lost in 2020. It was definitely stolen from him. I love this. It's just it shows how unreasonable Donald Trump is. And regardless of how loyal you are to him, he will stick that knife in your back if you waver at all. And Mo Brooks right now has got to be feeling completely just taken aback by this. It's got to be a shock to him because he did everything, in theory, that you should be doing to prove loyalty, even going so far as to lie about the United States democracy and opt for authoritarianism with Trump remaining in power, even though he did not win. So he did all that. And Trump still rescinds the endorsement. Oh my God, I love this. Now, Mo Brooks actually issued a statement, and now all of a sudden, he's changing his tune about the election and trying to act all high and mighty. So, in a lengthy statement Wednesday, Brooks said it was disappointing that just like in 2017, President Trump lets Mitch McConnell manipulate him again. What? A reference to the Senate Republican leader's efforts to oppose Brooks in a Republican Senate primary. I have not changed, Brooks continued, explaining that he is the only proven American 
America first candidate in the race and the only who worked to support Trump's efforts to overturn the election leading up to January 6th. As Brooks has said in recent weeks, he reiterated that there is no legal way to overturn the election now. Brooks also said he has repeatedly advised President Trump that January 6th was the final election contest verdict and that neither the Constitution nor federal law allows him to reverse the results. I've told President Trump the truth, knowing full well that it might cause President Trump to rescind his endorsement, Brooks said, but I took a sworn oath to defend and protect the U.S. Constitution. Shut the fuck up. I honor my oath. This is the way I am. I break my sworn oath for no man. Stop. You do not get to all of a sudden pretend to be high and mighty and, you know, act as if, well, I care about democracy and the Constitution. No. You tried to overturn the election. You aligned with insurrectionists, you fucking moron. And now you're saying, I break my oath for no man. You already did that, you fucking dipshit. Now you're just mad that he rescinded the endorsement and you're trying to backpedal a little bit. But you don't get to do that. You don't get to put the cat back in the bag. You aligned with insurrectionists. You came out in favor of authoritarianism and against democracy. So now you live with that. You don't get to change the narrative because Donald Trump is no longer your ally. Uh, and you know what they say, uh, go woke, go broke. So you have to live with this now, Mo Brooks. You went woke. You decided to go woke by saying maybe we should move on from the 2020 election. And that is woke. That's unacceptable. And yeah, Trump rescinded that endorsement. And I just, I can't get over how much I love this story. I love it so much. I'm wondering if... Mo Brooks literally cried when he saw this. Maybe not like ball his eyes out, but you know, there was a single tear that was shed when he saw the news. You know, like it was like a punch to the gut and he just felt nauseous. Like, oh my God, how could this happen to me? What has my life come to? I have done everything short of sucking Donald Trump's asshole and I still get fucked over by him. How could this happen to me? It, it just, oh God, it's so good. It just puts a smile on my face. So, I had to talk about it because I know you're going to enjoy this news as much as I do. Uh, but wow, love it. I hope that Trump rescinds more endorsements. Um, I hope that he continues to screw over his most loyal allies because that really is who Donald Trump is. And he's given everyone in politics an indication that he's willing to fuck you over at any time that it becomes convenient for him to do so. So, you know, get in bed with him, make a deal with the devil and at some point, it's going to come back to bite you in the ass. And every time it blows up in your face, I will be here to celebrate because I like seeing shitty people get what they deserve. And Mo Brooks absolutely deserves this. I hope he loses this race. You know, that's not to say that somebody who isn't insane will win the GOP primary. It's going to be some form of Trump sycophant who's delusional and probably somewhat psychopathic, but still... I like seeing this happen to Mo Brooks. Couldn't have happened to a shittier person. I love it. Do Paul Gosar next and Marjorie Green next, Trump, please. I'm begging you. Do yourself a favor and click the join button on YouTube to become a member. Because Mike's doing a great job getting to watch his videos before everyone else is tremendous. Many people are saying this. Join today, folks. You won't regret it.